Cancer Sun, Taurus Moons. Welcome to your 2024 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorded or a live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. When you see this is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2023 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist and see if they rang true for you or somebody else. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, pull the main cards, and take a quick look at your 2024. The second portion is in the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2024. So Cancer Sun Taurus Moons, you definitely like monetary oriented pursuits and earthly pleasures, but you also know how to work hard and save for what you wish for. In fact, some might consider you frugal and selfish, but you have your generous moments when the situation calls for it. The traits of your combination consist of reliable, loyal, and truth truthful, being truthful and authentic. The people who you closely associate with m must also hold these qualities like they are their gospel. Even if people are not your close friends, you do get along with them very well. They just don't get to be the chosen ones in your inner circle. You're polite and friendly, but some people might mistake this kindness for a person who could be taken advantage of. Not so. You're very constant and firm in your approach and your boundaries and your boundaries and have no problem asserting them. However, there are times when you can be overly sensitive and can be persuaded. Keep in mind that money is simply a means to an end and try to inject more personal relationships and joy into your day to day. So Holy Spirit, angels, divine guys, universe, can you please bring your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for a Cancer Sun, Taurus Moons for the year 2024? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground and come closer to universe and closer to divine? We have the King of Swords in the upright for January, February, March. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. We have the Knight of Cups for April, May, June. What do you see for July, August, September for Cancer, Sun, Taurus, Moons? Justice card in the reverse, which is the card of Libra. And what do you see for October, November, December? We have the Six of Swords in the upright. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is a crazy year. Uh, could be a personal connection. It's really hard to say when it's a general reading, but what I kind of do is just say what the context or what the what the what the context of what 2024 is going to be like, and then it could apply to any situation in your life. So, July, August. I mean, sorry, January, February, March with the King of Swords in the upright. I feel as though this is you. I feel as though you are taking a step back from what's going on during this period of time and saying to yourself, what is going to be the proper direction for me? I think you feel you're too close to your situation to actually be able to see outside of it. So you're taking measures in order to do that. It could be a relationship. You know, you're too in it to kind of see things for what they are or, you know, a job situation, pretty much anything that you're personally connected to. And I feel as though you're saying, you know, it's time for me to take a step back here and see this for what it really is and become an advisor to myself, advise myself what I'm going to do, how I'm going to move forward. What is the wisest? way? What is the most intellectual way to kind of do this? Um, and take my emotions entirely out of it because um, you can be an emotional being, uh, you know, at times. You can be sensitive at times. And I feel like you think that your sensitivity and your emotions are actually affecting situations for the worst. So this is what you're kind of doing, looking at it um, in a very detached way. And then you kind of, when you determine how you're going to move forward, you're going to take the initiative and actually do that. Now, if this is not you, this could actually be a friend who is saying to you, hey, you know, I, I, I got to tell you something. I've been looking at what's been going on and I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. So usually somebody who's very objective, wise, truthful, very fair. And their advice usually is pretty good. And for some of you, you're actually going to be seeking legal and financial advice during the period of January, February, March. April, May, June, an offer seems to be coming in. Uh, typically, the Knight of Cups in the upright is a romantic offer. Someone who's coming in to sweep you off your feet. Um, you know, that, that picnic by the lake with the wine and the grapes. Um, somebody making a proposal towards you. Now, keep in mind, the Knight of Cups in the upright typically is not a long-term uh, committed type of person. He usually comes in. It's, it's a wonderful thing. It's very uh, joyous. It's very, um, you know, emotion, a very deep deep emotional connection or a very nice emotional connection, um, but he's not going to stick around, okay? So I'm, I'm not saying that you shouldn't enjoy yourself if this actually comes to pass. Um, 
because it's an experience absolutely worth having. Just realize that it's meant to be for the short time that it was meant to be, okay? This can also be during this period of time that there is a project, work, something like that that you are very um, emotionally connected to, very passionate about um, kind of coming in. So you know, this is, you know, an offer of something coming in and you're saying, wow, I can't believe this. This is something I've always wanted to do. Sometimes it can be in the form of uh, volunteer work or um, humanitarian work or something that's very altruistic. So um, that's what I'm kind of seeing. And I feel as though you do take up on that situation because unfortunately what I'm seeing in July, August, September is how it was presented to you or what you thought it was going to be isn't what it actually turns out being. I think that you end up on the losing end of this. I feel as though what happens is that whatever this situation is you get yourself into, it becomes unfair. Okay. So maybe you aren't getting what you deserve. Maybe what you were told something was going to be didn't turn out being that. Um, Maybe you're being judged unfairly or being blamed for things that aren't your fault. You know, a, a situation like that, whatever the outcome was or whatever you were kind of hoping it was going to be or it was, it was told it was going to be doesn't end up being the case um, in July, August and September, which is actually a good thing that you're coming to this realization because in October, November, December, I see you moving away from this. I see you saying, OK, well, you know, I'm going to have to go separate ways with this situation or this person at this time because I know this isn't good for me. It's very necessary for me to move away from this and move towards something that's better for me. Um, Six of Swords in the Upright, I love that card because it can be a move, a physical move that it's actually over water or by water. I'm a big water person, so that's why I particularly like that card. Um, but it could just be relocating to another company, um, going separate ways with somebody while they're on the shore kind of waving off to you. Um, maybe you have some regrets, maybe some things are tugging your heartstrings, but I think ultimately you know that you're headed towards a much better thing and you are taking comfort in that. So that's what I have for you at this present time. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the video link below where I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2024. Um, and then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend and support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Cancer Sun, Taurus Moons. I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.